Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, um, you know, we talk about the move from settings to control panel and the fact that we have two panels, of course, in Windows that, you know, could make it a little hard to sometimes, especially when you're not used to it, um, you know, go through different settings. So you have to deal with, you know, this control panel here. You have to deal with the settings app uh, for Windows 11 and Windows 10, same thing. But Microsoft is trying hard to move settings from one side to the other. And an example of how difficult it is for Microsoft to do anything on moving these options is the fact that it's very complex uh, to move the control panel. A lot of users thought Windows 11 would have no control panel. Well, when Windows 10 X was a thing, Windows 10 X was a version of Windows that apparently did not contain a control panel. Um, but of course, they've changed their mind. They scrapped Windows 10 X. They've moved to Windows 11 suddenly. They have no choice but to give us our control panel because there's just too many settings there that we use. And an example that we had recently where it's dreadfully difficult for them to change anything. When you would go to the uh, network and sharing center in Windows 11 and some of the builds that we got wanted to s check out the adapter settings and stuff like that, we would have been sent to the settings app for that. But the problem is that the settings app, the network settings in there, are not as complete as what you can actually do with the settings you have in the control panel. And a lot of people complained that they were missing really important options because they couldn't access that panel anymore. So in this build, build 22538, Microsoft is actually reverting back to the control panel having network adapter settings and network settings that would, if you click on it in previous builds, bring you to the settings app instead, where it would, you know, ask you to to go to the network and internet settings adapt uh, for the settings. And in here, like I said, lots of stuff we're missing. Also, it's not just a question of a lot of stuff missing. It's also a question of how when you do things in a specific way, there is a, um, a point where you are used to doing it in a good old fashioned way with the control panel. And if you change everything, sometimes finding a setting is kind of hard. So now even here, when you see in the settings app, you go to more network adapter options, uh, brings you to the control panel again. So that's an example of how hard it is for Microsoft to deal with the control panel and bring stuff to the settings. Um, some of these settings, and including the network adapter, the settings are so complex that there's so many options in there that unless you move all of them in one big chunk to the settings where all of it's going to be there, forget it. It's almost impossible. And they backed off. They saw that uh, too many users were complaining and saying, whoa, 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 this, can't, this doesn't work. You can't do that. Um, we're missing options and we need them. And it just shows you that uh, one step forward, one step backward. So it's going to be extremely difficult for Microsoft to ever transport the full control panel into settings. Um, this, I think, will be stuck in for a long, long time unless they do a very specifically uh, new version of Windows 10, and they've tried with Windows 10 X, it didn't work. Um, so, you know, they're kind of stuck. And that is mostly because of all the legacy code and all the compatibility, backwards compatibility we need. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.